Hi everyone and welcome back to another nail video. So this is what I've done with my right hand. Um, I couldn't do anything major because I'm terrible at painting my nails with my left hand. So I'm going to tweak it a little bit on my left hand to make it a little bit more Valentine's Day inspired. And this is what my left hand is looking like after a month of these extensions. I did my nail care off camera, well I recorded it but I didn't include it in this video because it made the video too long. So I will upload how I did that at a later date. So once I've finished doing my cuticle care, I go ahead and take this rub and alcohol and I just rub down the whole area. And this is what it's looking like after that. So now I'm going to trim down this thumbnail because it did get cracked on the side. I remember I did actually have a crack in a natural nail before I started. So I kind of knew that would happen. So yeah, I'm just trimming that nail down to the crack and then I'm filing it down because I'm actually going to create a new extension on my thumbnail. That's the only nail that actually needed a new nail. So I'm just filing it down with my electrical file. You can do it with the hand file, that's fine. In fact, I think it works pretty much the same. My electric file isn't that powerful. <laughs> And yeah, I'm just continuing to file down the rest of my nails as well. I'm going to be doing a ballerina shape instead of this almond shape. So I'm just trimming down the tips. And then I'm taking my electrical file again and I'm just filing off that top coat and a little bit of the thickness of the tips. And now I'm taking a file and I'm carefully filing near the cuticle area, the very end of the nail extensions or where the cuticle part was. So just taking my time to do that, making sure not to file my natural nail bed. I did have a little bit of lifting on this index finger. So I'm just making sure I file away all the lifting before I continue on to the next step. And now I'm taking this 240 slash 180 file. <laughs> it's basically a final file. And I buffed my natural nail with that. So I don't want to use a harsh file for that. And now I'm taking my buffing block and I'm just buffing everything all over so it's nice and smooth for the application. And I'm just brushing off that dust with this makeup brush. <laughs> and I'm also using this nail brush to get into like the crevices of my nails before I start. So once that's done, I go ahead and rub my nails off with rubbing alcohol again. And then I'm taking some nail prep and wiping it all over my nails as well. And that's what my nails are looking like. I'm also going in with this nail prep dehydrator. This is just to make sure that everything's just nice and dehydrated. So I'm just brushing that all over the nail. So now I'm going in with this nail primer and I'm just putting that on my natural nail bed, making sure not to get it on my skin because that 
stuff burns when it goes underneath a UV light. To extend the thumbnail, I'm going to be using this dual form. So in the Model 1's package, they have these curved ones and they have straight ones as well. I didn't really like the way the straight ones look, so I've gone for the curved ones and I'm just sizing it up. As you can see, one was too big and one was too small, so I just went with a smaller size because I know that I can bulk it up with more gel after I've cured it. So yeah, I'm just extending the nail um, as long as I want my nail to be and I'm not really caring about the shape at this time because I'm going to file it down anyway. So I'm just making sure there's no air bubbles and that the pillar gel is not on my skin because if the gel is on your skin it's going to cure and it's going to be really hard to file away from your cuticle and you're going to probably end up making your cuticles bleed. So make sure it's not on your skin. So yeah, just wipe it away with this brush with some alcohol on it and it comes off quite clean. But just be careful about flooding your cuticles because it can actually go under the skin and it's going to look messy at the cuticle area. And I also make sure to flip my nail under to make sure the gel is not touching my thumb. And then I'm just taking my UV torch and making sure to hold my nail in place and just curing it for about 10 seconds until it's not going to move anymore. And then I go ahead and put my head under the lamp for a full 60 seconds. And I'm going to leave the form on while I infill the rest of my nails just because I don't want that sticky layer getting anywhere. <laughs> so with the rest of my nails, I'm just going to infill right at the cuticle area. Firstly, I'm taking a very small bead and just making sure to get that cuticle area nice and clean. And it takes me quite some time to do the gel. Even though it's easier to apply than acrylic, I still find that this poly gel warms up and it does tend to run. So I made sure I did one nail at a time. So once I'm happy with how that bead of poly gel looks, I go ahead and apply another bead. And this is to build the apex of my nail. You want to make sure that you have a good structure on your nail so that the nails don't break off prematurely. So after I do each nail, I'll cure it with my mini torch for 30 seconds. And then once I've finished doing all the nails, I go ahead and do a full cure for 60 seconds. Yeah, so I'm just moving that over with the alcohol and the poly gel. It's so easy to get like the shape that you want. So I'm making sure to get my idle shape so I don't have to do much filing afterwards. And any mistakes I made, I just wiped it off with my brush and my alcohol. Trust me, this application was quite messy. <laughs> Not gonna lie. I did actually use the dual forms on my right hand last time I did my nails and it was a bit fiddly I must say using the dual forms I'm not really a fan of them and I felt like the right hand didn't last as long as my left hand. It's been about two weeks since I did this set and one of my nails is actually coming off and I just had to super glue it down until I'm ready to do my nails again which is really bad I know but there was no way I wasn't having nails done for Valentine's Day <laughs> so I'm going to probably have to redo my nails because of that soon. So before I cure again, I go ahead and take that dual form off and yeah, cure for 60 seconds. And that's the infill complete and this is what my nails are looking like. So once all the curing is done, I go ahead and take some of that nail prep and I wipe my nails to get rid of that sticky layer. Because you don't want to be filing your nails when your nails are sticky because it's just going to get your nail file all dirty. So yeah, I'm just shaping my nails now. I do prefer the ballerina shape on my fingers because they're quite slim. Almond shape was fine, but for this design, I felt like it would be better if my nails were a bit more square. I'm not amazing at shaping and it does take me quite some time to get the shape that I'm looking for because I am a perfectionist and I literally have to have everything perfect, especially like my DIY projects, like they have to be perfect. <laughs> The only thing that we'll do differently here is to make sure that the nails are quite edgy so like sharp edges because once I put the gel on it's going to make everything look a bit more rounder. I actually do prefer to have like a natural rounded edges but it looks better with the nail art to have the, the edges quite sharp. So I'm just filing the cuticle area to make it nice and smooth and shaping the sides, shaping the top. And I'm also making sure that the tip of my nails are not too thick as well. The tip of the nail should be as small as a credit card, that's what I heard somewhere. And once I've finished filing, I go ahead and buff it with my nail block. And then brush all the dust off with my brush and my nail brush. 
you can actually go ahead and wash your hands at this point but i wasn't getting that for nobody <laughs> And I also wiped again with nail prep. I didn't include it in the video because I didn't have my hands in view. So yeah, I went ahead and wiped it with the nail prep. And now I'm going to be doing my base coat. So I'm just applying the base coat all over my nail and just making sure not to flood my cuticle with any gel. You don't want anything to be on your cuticle. <laughs> so yeah, I'm just taking my time doing that. And then I cure for 60 seconds as well. And once I finish curing, I go ahead and wipe it again with this nail prep to get rid of that tacky layer. And then I'm gonna be putting my base color on. And this is the I'm I don't even know how to pronounce it. I'm Ali. Emily. It's a really nice sheer pink color very nice natural pink i actually bought this for my french manicures but it actually suited the pinks that i bought really well so i just went ahead and used this the only thing is i didn't want that silver to show underneath on my right hand it shows a lot more it's not really visible on my left hand um, after i did the two coats of it so that was all right So once I finish applying two coats of the base color, I go ahead and cure for 60 seconds each time. And this is what the nails are looking like. Beautiful, beautiful. Now I'm gonna be starting the nail design. So I'm taking this pink set from Model Ones and I'm applying a few blobs on my nail palette and I'm gonna be starting with the darkest shade of pink. So on my index finger and my middle finger, I'm gonna be making half of a heart to make a whole heart when I close my fingers together so that's what I'm doing here I'm doing half a heart and yeah so I'm just making the half heart shape and then I'm infilling the space with the actual nail polish applicator and make sure the ends of my nail are painted as well and yeah I go ahead and do the same thing on my index finger so again I'm making sure not to get any of the nail paint on my cuticle line and if I did get any I would just wipe it off with my brush with some alcohol yeah, so I start off by doing the two half hearts on the index finger and the middle finger and I do two coats of that. I didn't show my application of the two coats because it's just the same thing twice. And these colours are quite sheer as well, so two coats is definitely needed. So I had to do the nail art twice on each finger. It took me forever. Oh my god. <laughs> it was so tedious, I'm not gonna lie. And for the thumbnail and my pinky, I'm going to be doing like this diagonal French tip. <laughs> and this was quite easy. I wish I just stuck to doing that for my first nail art. So yeah, it's just a straight line and then fill it in with the nail polish applicator. And I do two coats of that as well. So on my ring finger, I'm going to be doing this really cute nail design. I kind of winged this part. I knew that I wanted to use uh, the silver nail what do you call them nail rivet whatever you call them but I forgot to do it while I was doing the infill so this nail came out a bit bulky so I'm just using some more of the poly gel and I'm putting some holographic glitter heart shapes in the middle and then I'm going in with the silver heart shaped rivet and I apply the over top of the glitter and then just make sure to push the glitter underneath the rivet before I go ahead and brush it over with more poly gel oh it's called a stud I think it's called a nail stud okay so the stud wasn't as curved as it should have been so I just used a pencil to curve it around a bit so it can fit my nail better and then I just put some more potty gel over that and my camera did die so you didn't see me curing it filing it and then wiping off the nail with nail prep so that's what I did off camera and that's what it's looking like so freaking cute and I'm also going to be making like heart shapes around the silver stud so I'm firstly going in with the darkest pink and making the heart shape around it this was harder than it looks <laughs> And any mistakes i'm just wiping off with my brush with some alcohol because i want that silver rivet to poke through and then i just curl it with my torch just so that i don't accidentally smudge it and now i'm moving on to the white i did it like this because i didn't want to keep cleaning my brush so once i was finished with the dark pink i went ahead and just cleaned it with some alcohol wiped it off and started applying the white 
So with the white polish I'm making the same shape on the index finger and my middle finger and I do two coats of this as well. I wasn't too concerned about the neatness because I knew I was going in with another colour in between but I was making sure that the free edge where it meets the base colour was quite smooth. So once I finished doing each layer of the white I cured it for 30 seconds with a torch. Now I'm going in with the light pink on my ring finger and making that heart shape around the dark pink. And then I'm curing that for 30 seconds as well. And then I use the light pink on the rest of the nails as well. So on my thumb and my pinky I do a line in between the white and the dark pink. And on the index finger and the middle finger I do a line just starting from the curve down towards the tip. I've done two coats of the pink and I cured it for 30 seconds before moving on to finish my ring finger. So that's all the other nails done and I'm going to finish off the ring finger with the white and I was really impressed with the way that it looked. And I'm really taking my time with this nail art. Like I've never done nail art before. This is my first time. And I found it so fiddly. Like trying to make straight lines with, <laughs> with my shaky hands is not even a good look. Honestly. I'm an artist as well. And I don't have steady hands. <laughs> so I don't know what I'm going there. And then lastly, I'm just taking that base colour again. And just filling out the rest of the colour on the ring nail. So yeah, I'm just cleaning up my errors and my mistakes. Didn't want to cure any of that gel on my cuticle line or the side of my fingers. And then I cure it all for 60 seconds. Next, I'm taking my top coat for Model 1s and I'm just top coating everything. I think I done two coats of top coat because sometimes I do find if I don't do two coats, it's not as shiny. So I like to do two coats, two thin coats of top coat and the fingers are looking ashy as hell that's because all the alcohol that I've been rubbing on my nails that ring finger is prepped and ready for a ring <laughs> And then once I've done curing, I go ahead and wipe off. You don't have to, but I go ahead and wipe off again with isopropyl alcohol. For me, it just makes my nails pop even more. And then I'm taking cuticle oil and I'm applying that all over my cuticles. And this is how they came out guys i was so gassed i was so pleased with myself after i was finished like it did take me a long time but i was so pleased with myself i don't even know how much this would have cost me in a nail shop and i don't even want to know <laughs> but yeah this is how it came out guys as you can see when i put the nails together it makes this cute little heart oh, so cute <laughs> I really really enjoyed doing this set and I probably will do some more nail art designs as well in the future but yeah I hope you guys enjoy your love day and don't forget to like comment and subscribe share the love <laughs> thanks for watching guys and I'll see you in the next one bye